Hi, welcome to Dive Extras again, and the fifth little installment on the new X-ray light. So, in this um, little segment, I thought I would explain a little bit more about the electronics, how they work, and how you turn the light on and off. So we've got a magnetic switch right here, so there's no penetrations into the can. You could take all this off um, here and nothing would leak. Um, it's designed for cold water operation, so it's really um, some big serrations there, so it's, it's easy to use. So to turn the light on requires a double click of the switch. So this prevents it turning on accidentally. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain what the light's going to do when I turn it on so that um, I don't have to explain it during it. Because when I turn the light on, it's going to flash and tell me what the battery capacity is at that time. First of all, it's going to strobe. That's a little warning sign that says, hey, I need to be looking and counting the next pulses. Then it's going to flash, um, one flash for every 20% of the battery. So five flashes would be um, fully charged, two flashes would be 40% charged. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on now so you can see what happens. So there's my double click, it's strobing, and then one, two, and now it's on normally. So you saw the strobe, which was the warning, like, hey, look at me. Um, then the 2 which means the 40% um, and now the light is on. So there's um, five different light levels just like a scooter it always starts in light level 3 so to go up a level I just do a double click just like that. Um, now I'm in 4 and I can go up a level to level 5 with another um, click right now. Um, so the electronics also has thermal foldback on the LED power so right in the back here it's monitoring the LED temperature so there's no problem with me running it out of the water because once it starts to overheat um, it doesn't actually overheat, once it starts to get hot it'll start shutting down the power to the LED um, to keep everything working normally. When I'm in the water and it's cooling really well it's going to be running at 100%. So to change down a level I do a single click and I can go all the way down to um, level one. So I got 40 hours from a full battery, 40 to 50 hours like this, um, all the way up at level um, five. I have um, five hours. So to turn it off, um, to prevent anyone accidentally turning off, requires me to hold the switch for four seconds. So if I hold the switch, so it's pretty much there you go, and it's, everything's turned off. So it's four seconds to prevent it accidentally getting jogged um, underwater. So there you go, there's the basic operation of the electronics on the new x-ray.